If we can quantize a 16-bit floating point number down to an 8-bit or a 4-bit, why not go all the way to 1-bit? Well, it turns out you can do that, though you're going to see significant degradation in the output quality of that large language model. 1-bit is not enough, so we need an extra bit or 0.58 bits. Wait, you can't have a fraction of a bit. Well, it turns out really you cannot. You cannot have a fraction of a bit. You really need an extra bit there. And the, we'll, we'll walk through how they figured out to name it 0.58 bits here in a bit. Before we do that though, let's talk about what is this quantization in general is taking a floating point number and reducing the number of bits so it can fit into the available memory of the device that's doing the computation because these 16-bit uh, floating points and you, and you have billions of parameters, there's gonna be a lot of memory requirements. So you can slice that in half. It's actually pretty straightforward. So say we have a, a simple floating point number here. It's like uh, 1.4 like seven, three, two, five, one. So like some long number, right? So the idea is simply of quantizing these numbers is by sort of rounding up to the nearest digit. So you delete a digit, delete a digit, delete a digit, and you just keep going from there. And you're, you're really deleting the bits, not the digits, but then it, it, it reduces the overall precision capacity of uh, every single parameter in the model. It's actually really straightforward from that perspective. This makes it easier for the parameters to fit into the available GPU memory on the device because that is the scarce resource. And when you have these really big parameters, lots of parameters, uh, you need to be able to do that so it can better easily compute on consumer hardware possibly. We take a 16-bit floating point number and we convert that into a 1-bit integer and it's possible to do that which it you know obviously you just round up right to get to the the nearest integer and the whole point is faster computation, less hardware requirements, lower energy consumption, the output is quick, everything's better, right? Faster, better, smarter. The whole point is, so actually let's take a quick look. This is the act of quantization or just rounding, right? We're just essentially rounding to the nearest uh, data point. The whole point of the bitnet B1.58, even though it's like, we are talking about, it does say 1.58 bits. You cannot have a fraction of a bit. It does not work that way. Uh, well, the the way they're talking about this is, you know, we've got we're using three states: negative one, zero, and one. If we use just one bit, then you would only have zero and one. But if you have two bits, you can add a sign so it can have a negative number, and then you're throwing away the fourth state. You're not even using it, so you really are using two bits uh, from that perspective. But but in the actual usage of the system they're throwing away the fourth bit so the hardware yes in the hardware world we are using two bits in the software world the algorithm is using three bits so we can convert this floating point number of this matrix here uh, which is you know a lot of parameters convert that over into these ones zeros and negative ones these this trinary state that allows you to instead of multiplying matrices together you can add the matrices together and get a an output that roughly gives you the same capacity capability and even stays in line with the full precision model and in terms of its output quality it says that Pareto's solution to reduce the inference cost at latency the throughput speed and the energy is going to be reduced so the large and while also maintaining the model performance so the output of the model has the same level of quality as the full precision and they did it <laughs> actually it actually works they are saying that they would like some new hardware which makes sense because there's this is this is i don't know there it's there it's a it's a cheap move here because they're saying uh oh we just need new hardware because they're throwing away that fourth state Yes, if we had some new hardware, we could probably find a way to uh, better compact and utilize uh, the transistors to uh, use only 1.58 bits, right? The three state, the trinary state, we could definitely do that with different kind of hardware. So it's sort of like a cheat, uh, I don't know, I call this cheating a little bit. <laughs> it's a little bit cheating, uh, it, though they're not wrong. It's just, you know, the math is still good either way because we are still getting a net gain by uh, converting this floating point matrix multiplication into a trinary uh, integer matrix that only needs addition. I was talking with Sivan on a comment thread that's describing how do we get to 1.58 bits, right? You can't have a fraction of a bit. Doesn't make any sense. The hardware either has, you can have one bit, which represents two states, or you can combine another bit to represent four states, right? Four states. <laughs> 
You can have three states and four states, and that's kind of what they're what they're talking about. So this 1.58 bits here was I saying, what is the deal with this 0.58 bits? How can you have a fraction of a bit? Savan and I kind of both came up with the solution uh, at the same time. The idea is the term. 0.58 bits refers to the entropy value encoding into three values, a trinary state that equals the probability of three possibilities. And it calculates to approximately 1.58 bits. And th while you really are using two bits in the whole, the whole picture because you can't use a fraction of a bit in hardware, so you really are using two bits. And the fourth state for those two bits, it gets unused. They throw it away. It's just, it's gone, right? And they have some like, well, maybe we could use it, you know, for some parity checking. And sure, I guess, uh, maybe, though they they use, it just goes unused in the algorithm. So we really are using two bits, which has four states. The, how do they get to the math on the 0.58? Uh, so that happens through the use of just the three of the four states. They're saying there's only three possible states which means that the parameters in the model from a software perspective goes between one and two bits. And they calculate this trinary state using a simple formula, log two, three, which, you know, of course, is the, the binary. As you add more bits, you can get more, and then you can see how many possible states, and it's gonna get you 1.58, and that just calculates like this. It actually goes out a little bit further here in terms of, the number of possible states based on the entire model's parameters utilization of those bits yes it is throwing away a state in the two bits and it's kind of all right <laughs> so okay sure so if we walk through to see what that looks like you'd have uh several states here so say if we have one bit that one bit can either be a one or a zero and if you add another bit you can also have another one or zero. And now you have a combination of, uh, you know, you've got two digits here of which both can be one or zero. So now you can have four states possible combining with these two. So essentially it would be, you can have a zero state and a zero state, or you can have a one, a one and a zero state, or you can also have a one and a one. And then you can have a the op opposite of that too. So you have a zero and a one. Yeah, sorry, I'm drawing, I'm drawing on this weird. So you can have these four states, right? One, two, three, four possible states. And it turns out that in the 1.58 bit model, they're actually throwing away this last possible state here. So you're only stuck with zero, zero as a possible state, right? Zero, zero. And then you also have zero, one, and then you have one zero as the other state. So this will equal to zero, this will equal to one, and this equals negative one. So you, now you have the three states. Represented in, in two bits, you have four states, and you're throwing away one of the states. And I do that in order to uh, from the algorithm's perspective, make sure that the output from the model, it can maintain the perplexity. And in this case, it looks like even the 1.58 bit model has a lower perplexity, which is impressive because that means it performs just a tiny bit better, just a little bit better in terms of its quality of output, which is amazing. So not only is the memory reduced by 2.6x or even more, uh, the latency is reduced, you get an improved performance, and you get an improved perplexity in some of these cases based on the size of the model. That's amazing!